black crappie. Another black. Quick release. <laughs> <laughs> that one there was probably big enough for the skillet. If you if you was ready for a crappie sandwich, I know you don't like those, brother. Oh man. <laughs> So Jeff, I know you've been a fisheries biologist for quite a few years. You probably feel like at this point in time you've seen every pond in the state, haven't you? I've seen a few. <laughs> <laughs> but your primary job is not pond management. Your primary job is really to manage the public waterways. Correct. But if someone's having a problem with their pond, you will help them out. We do, that's part of our job. We try to help provide technical guidance to, to pond owners. What's the number one problem for, as far as ponds? A lot of the calls are dealing with fish population problems, you know, crowded bass, undesirable fish species, also aquatic vegetation issues. And like I say, <laughs> fish population issues, undesirable species. It's almost like that fish uh, knew we, he had a chance to be on TV. Yes, he did. Because this is uh, exactly the undesirable fish species you're talking about. This is one of uh, a couple of fish that can be very problematic in a pond. White crappie, they're prolific. They, they can get off really large spawns. They can overpopulate. And unless you've got a good predator population, you know, you could end up with a pond full of these small crappie. What other non-desirables in a pond would you look for? The most common one that we probably deal with is a green sunfish. They're incredibly aggressive. They can wear out a male bass on a nest, but... Uh, Another crappie. That Man, looks better. There sure are a bunch of these jokers in here, though. I mean, Look at the eyes on that dude. Look how big they are. Massive, yeah. That's an old fish. Oh, really? So eye size, eye size? Ken at times, yeah. That's a pretty good indication that that's probably an older fish that's been around for a while. They're just not growing. They're crowded. Well, Jeff, that's probably not real good. We, we walked down this dock, and we fished one spot, and we've caught three fish, and they've all been undersized small crappie. Now, I'm not going to make a determination just yet that the bass population's in bad shape, but we're going to have to walk the rest of this pond and try to, try to catch a few more fish and see what they look like as well. We get a lot of calls about muddy ponds, and usually it's due to a fish. And it's either due to a bullhead catfish, which is another undesirable, or a common carp. They're just very problematic. They keep the ponds muddy, which is very bad for largemouth. Largemouth bass, that is a sight feeder, and the pond stays muddy all the time. It's really, really good to see different age classes of bass in your pond. Um, this isn't exactly what you want to come out here and catch big numbers of, but if you're seeing this size and medium size and the occasional really big bass, then you have a very healthy pond. This is a nice quality looking fish. Looks like it's been eating well. It was aggressive. It was, and again, it's proportional, not a big head, skinny body. Just things that you're looking at when you're uh, kind of looking at your fish in your pond. A little better bass. We've at least got the two pound variety. So that's good. In the last couple of casts, we've caught uh, a, a four inch bass. And now a bass that's probably somewhere in the neighborhood of 16, 17 inches. So it has several different year classes in it. Hey, that's a good sign. This is exactly what you want to see. I saw a big fish take off right here. Could it have been this? Here we go. Now, now, now we're dealing with the kind of fish that you really want to see in your pond. We have caught all age classes of fish. Now this is, this is full grown. This is a pretty good sized bass right here. For a pond, I mean, we're looking at a close to five pound fish. Hey, this is a good way to go out and try to get a decent idea of what your population of your fish is like is just walk around it occasionally and catch some fish and take notes of what you're catching and the overall health. Look at this fish. Very healthy fish. Got a big belly. If someone built a new pond, what do you recommend as far as fish stocking? We recommend the largemouth bass and bluegill. Basically it's 400 bluegill per acre 
120 bass per acre. You can find this information on our website. We okay. have a Farm Palm webpage, Google Kentucky Fish and Wildlife, go to our main page. Up in that top right hand search box, just type in Farm Pond Management. There's a list of fish suppliers that, okay. uh, that sell in the state, so that information is on that website. I'm sure you get phone calls on aquatic vegetation as well. That's a lot of phone calls we get, or people trying to figure out what they're dealing with and how to control it. There's three ways of controlling aquatic plants, and that's one, physically, you know, removing it by hand. The second way is biologically, that's your grass carp, but you gotta understand grass carp don't eat all types of aquatic vegetation. They got a preference list. There's mm -hmm. things they will eat, there's things they won't. And then the third, of course, is chemically. Again, identifying the plant is, is a key. Getting the appropriate control method for that plant is, is, is the big thing. And you can go on the website of the Department of Fish and Wildlife and find out who your district biologist is. There's a site on there that you put your county in and it'll tell you who your conservation officer is, who your land biologist is, and then you can find out who your fisheries biologist is, no matter what county you live in in the state of Kentucky. Correct. It's it's very easy to do. And their email addresses are located on there as well? Their phone and email addresses and just you know pull that email address up, take a picture on your phone and send it to that email. <laughs> I'm loving it. Oh my gosh! Is that a crappie? <laughs> Oh my goodness! <laughs> on a jig, a bass jig that is. Oh, come on out of there. How about that? 